Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio. And after a long break, I'm back with another great exciting tutorial. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's start with the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop and let's create a work comp first. So go to file, create new, and then I'll just go for print and then I'll just go for later size. All right. And then let's drag and drop this image over here. And let's make this image a little bigger. So for that, go to edit, free transform, and let's make it a little bigger maybe some more like this size all right now let's duplicate it so press ctrl z to make a copy go to filter go to camera raw filter i want to do some little adjustments so increase clarity just decrease the highlights increase the texture increase the exposure a little bit and Maybe increase the clarity a little more and drop down the whites. Maybe something like this. Alright. Now let's go to filter, go to filter gallery. Maybe I'll just go for cutout and then let's work on this number. Again, go to filter, and go to stylize, and just apply alternate. And let's so increase the clearness a little bit, or maybe somewhere right here. somewhere right here all right now let's make a layer one a copy again and let's put it all the way on the top now select on the copy layer go to filter and this time go to filter gallery and this time I'll just go for watercolor and let's maybe something like drop down the texture Maybe something like this. Okay, and then let's change the blending mode to hard light and let's change the opacity a little down, maybe somewhere over here. Alright, now let's fill the background color with some something like this color. Maybe like a little go for more yellow. Maybe somewhere over here. Uh, right. Go to pen tool and then let's go for shape. And let's change the fill color to zero and make a stroke to two pixel. Let's change the stroke color to black. All right, now let's draw some shapes.
let's drag and drop this vector object from my library and I'll provide you the download link for this and for that just check on the description list below so maybe I'll just skip this all the way to the bottom Control T let's do some adjustment maybe I'll just get a different type T rotation maybe let's change the opacity somewhere over there let's drag and drop this one over here too and let's drop down the opacity for this one too somewhere over here Drop this one too. Somewhere over here. Let's drop down the opacity again. Control J, make a copy. Control T. Let's rotate it on the other side. Let's put it somewhere over here. Something like this. Let's drag and drop this element over here. Control T, let's make a rotation. I'll just skip somewhere over here. Color overlay, let's change the color overlay to maybe somewhere, something like this color. T. let's make it a little smaller let's do some maybe change the color overlay to something like this color Control J to make a copy Control T maybe put somewhere maybe just change it just the size create a new layer on top and go to brush and this time I'll just go for hard brush and just change the color to white let's do some drawing it's just a hand draw it, you don't have to make it perfect let's do some I'm just holding and shift and just drawing a line. And just to add some randomness, just do add something like this. Alright, now let's change this color to white. I'll just do same thing over here too. Let's create a new layer again. Go to brush and this time I'll just increase the brush size, maybe something like eight. Something like eight is too big, maybe something like five. And then I'll just keep on drawing. Add some randomness, maybe something like this, or 
just do some roughness. Maybe add somewhere over here. Alright. Now let's drag and drop some other element. Go to press and then I'll just add some kind of randomness. Make a new layer again. here and you can keep on playing on it and then I'll just do a final touch up let's go over here click on color lookup from here I'll click on load and I'm going to use my mode lock select on it click on load And that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.